In this video, I will show you how to enable two-factor authentication in Fortnite. And if this video does help you out today, please consider dropping down below the video, leaving a like on the video, and also consider subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. With that being said, let's jump straight into the tutorial. So as you can see, we're here on my desktop. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is actually activate this using your Epic Games account. So to do this, what you're going to want to do is open up a new browser, internet browser, and then what you want to do is either come across to Google and you can just go ahead and type Epic Games in here and hit enter. Or if you want, you can just go across to the official website, which is just epicgames.com. So you can see we've got a result here. So I'm just going to go ahead and give that a click to get taken directly to the Epic Games website. Now, from here, what you're going to want to do is sign into your account. So you can see in the top right hand corner, I'm already signed into my account. If you're not signed in, this will say sign in. And of course, you can click sign in and go ahead and sign into your account. So after you signed in, it's going to take you back to the home screen. And what you're going to want to do from here is come up to the top right hand corner, click on to account. So if you hover over your username, you're going to get account. Go ahead and give that a click. And that's going to take you across to your account page. Next, what you want to do is come across this menu on the left hand side. And you want to click onto the one that says password and security about halfway down the menu. And then from here, what you want to do is just scroll down all the way to the bottom and you'll see this section about two-factor authentication. So two-factor authentication is basically used to help protect your account from unauthorized access by requiring you to enter a security code when you sign it. So there's a few different ways you can actually authenticate your account with two-factor authentication. You've got a third-party authenticator app, an SMS authentication, or you can do an email authentication. So this is all down to personal preference. Now, whenever I do two-factor authentication on anything, I generally go for this one, the third-party authenticator app. So what you want to do is select on for any of these methods. But as I say, I'd recommend this one. This is probably the best one to do. And what's going to happen is going to come up with a window like this. Now, of course, I've blurred out some of this for security reasons. But all you need to do, there's three steps to get this set up. So what you need to do first is download an authenticator app. There's quite a few you can use, but the Google Authenticator app is the one that I personally use, and that's the one I would recommend. So if you just go into Google Play Store and you put something like Google Authenticator app, you will see the app available to download. So once you've actually downloaded the app, what you want to do on your phone is open up the app, and what you're going to see is a little plus button in the bottom of the screen. So what you want to do is go ahead and tap that plus button, and then what you want to do is basically select to scan a QR code, and then what you can do is just scan, of course, I've blurred mine out, but you'll have a QR code. So you just want to scan that from the Authenticator app. And what's going to happen is it's going to ask you to enter a security code. So after you've scanned the QR code, then what's going to happen is it's going to give you a security code in the app, which you can enter down here in this box here. After that's done, just go ahead and click the blue activate button to activate the two-factor authentication. So what's going to happen now is every time you actually sign into your account, which of course includes games as well, so things like Fortnite, what's going to happen is going to ask you to do the two-factor authentication. So what you would do is just every time you would get a security code sent to your app, and you would enter that code in to log into your account. So this is just an added layer of security, so just how protect from an authorized access to, access to your account is available on a lot of things now, and I would highly recommend it as it does just provide that extra layer of security. So with that being said, I hope this tutorial helped you out today. If it did, I'd really appreciate it. If you want to drop down below the video, leave a like and also consider subscribing to the channel. So I just want to take a moment to thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you in the next tutorial.